on screen. Slay the Spire is the game which we'll be playing today, which is a dungeon crawling roguelike by its own description, which is a pretty accurate description, but it also includes deck building elements. I say elements. Uh, it's basically a deck building game that is also a dungeon crawling roguelike. I played it a little bit already, as you may be able to tell from uh, the various bits here. So how the game plays out is we've got the main play section, but we've also got the ability to look through the cards that we've accrued so far. Uh, I think it's just the ones that we've seen. Yes. We also managed to get a relic collection, which are, uh, they're like, they're little global power-ups you can pick up, but I guess you also can, oh boy, there's some quite dramatic ones. They generally tend to have some sort of upside and downside as well. Uh, statistics, patch notes, they're probably not very interesting. But let's try off with our most basic guy. This is the Ironclad. Uh, he's kind of the most standard, I think, of the of the two characters which are currently available because this is an early access game. Ironclad gets back six hit points at the end of every combat, which makes it just generally a little bit easier. I'm not sure if it's just easier overall. I will take another as and when this guy gets murdered. We'll take a look at the other one, which is the Silent. Which is kind of like a rogue warlock type, type character if you're a Hearthstone player. Alright, let's give it a try. So we'll start off with a basic deck, uh, but before we get to that, let's talk to a creepy six-eyed whale. I mean, I'm assuming he's got six eyes, it might just be three on this side. Hello again. Reach the boss to receive my blessing. That dude just got some giant-ass nostrils. And two little ones for backup. Hey, I love hi 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 XD. How's it going? I didn't actually really expect anybody to watch this one, but nice to see ya. So the first choice we have to make in this game is which of these four different start locations to go from. So let's see. So we've got this one, which is, leads to a merchant. We haven't got an enormous amount of money as yet, but it can lead to us starting out with a better deck because what you buy from merchants are cards as well as various other power-ups. I've uh, got a couple of monsters here. We've got some unknowns here, here, and here. So I think I'll start here. Uh, I love, what do you think? I know you're a little bit delayed on what you're seeing, but do you have any particular preference as to starting location? I guess one, two, three, or four. My preference is to one, because there are, from memory, a fair amount of cards that are worth having at the sub 100 coins mark. And just while I wait to see if you have an opinion on the subject, I'm going to have some delicious water. Mmm. Alright, well... Maybe I'll get a contradictory opinion from you in a little while, but for now, let's start off here. So, much as something like Dominion or Ascension or similar, we are looking at a bunch of very basic cards to start off. We have one special card in our deck, which I think we can have a look at over here. Yes, which applies a special effect. Everything else is pretty straightforward. Blocks damage or deals damage. So we can see this guy is going to be inf intending to not only inflict 7 damage on us, but also a negative effect. So normally we'd expect to say we can defend, block some of that damage, and maybe strike a couple of times to take him down. Because if you remember our guy, oh, I'm just going to let my cat out of the room. Our guy will regenerate a little bit of health at the end of each encounter, so it's not as bad as it could be. So we get our special card, this is a, as you can see on the screen, it's a, there's an explanation of the effect, but a lot of the game seems to be balancing around when to use your special effects and when not to. You'll note that the rest of these cards have got the number one in the top left hand corner, and this one has number two. These relates to the energy over here. 
And at this point he's going to hit us for 12, so we probably want to try and absorb some of that rather than them doubling down on hitting him really hard, because we've still got a way to go before they die. Alright, so we were weakened, which is a status effect that reduces our the damage of our attack spells. I want to call them attack spells? Attack cards. So same sort of thing. Let's defend, and then hit him a couple of times because there's something to be said for an aggressive defense. And hopefully, for anyone who's watching this, probably after the fact, uh, who's not played this game before, you kind of get the idea. So let's see, so same sort of thing. Gonna defend a couple of times, and then attack. So we could use the bash, which will allow us to do more damage, but he's going to do a lot of damage to us. So the main concern here is preserving our hit point total for as long as we can. And it seems to be a, a kind of like a, a little bit of a boring, but relatively effective strategy to try and avoid taking as much damage as possible while still chipping away at the other side. Unless you get to the point with other cards where you can do a little bit more so, for example, here, we've got enough to kill him, so we don't need to worry about defending. We get some more gold, which goes on the total up here, and we get to add a card. Hmm. So, these cards here are basically just upgraded versions of our block or attack, but they also draw a card. So, they effectively don't exist in terms of the deck size. So, it's pretty good if we can swap out basic card for a slightly better card earlier on that certainly fits with the kind of deck building game kind of theory iron wave gets this block and attack that's pretty decent but i think in the early going tending to spend more time doing blocking than we are attacking so I'll grab that one and head to the merchant so even if nothing else happens we can use the merchants to get rid of one of the cards on our deck, which is something that becomes more expensive as time goes on. Uh, but let's see what he's got. So you see card removal service over here. Let us shrink our deck size, which is generally pretty good. Though it's mostly more worthwhile if we've actually got something worthwhile to draw to. So with that in mind... Uh, oh, interesting. So zero cost that does six and then exhaust, which is the same as not banishing a card per se. Uh, oh, hello. Cat's back again. Come on, meow meow. We'll see if he turns up. But yes, exhaust will take it out of the deck for the duration of that particular fight. So it's worth knowing about. Uh, let's see. There's also different classes of cards. We've got attack cards, skill cards, and power cards, which I think are... They stay in play once they've been played. Come on, noisy cat. Where's it gone? Ah, oh, the payoff to noisy cat noises is a not particularly happy looking cat in channel stream. Uh, right. So none of these seem amazing. So I'm going to just toss one of our cards from the deck. Because that feels like that's kind of worthwhile. So we've only got 41 gold left, which isn't enough to get anything. So we'll leave and proceed. Next up, we've got a monster friend. <sighs> oh man, these guys are lovely. L oh, louses. Louse? Li lice? Yes, lice, I guess would be the correct word. So they're going to hit us for 10. So we get to use our new card. And I think the vulnerable thing only lasts for a turn. Or maybe it's two turns. Oh, I think, I'm not sure if the number relates to, as in apply to vulnerable, I'm not sure if that relates to 
how many turns it lasts or something else. Let's find out, I guess. Though these guys are weak enough that maybe that's not even worthwhile. That's ah, great, let's go to tribe. So, a special thing about the Laos is it will roll up when it takes damage, gaining itself armor and making itself more resistance to future attacks, of which we don't have any. At least this round. Let me bring my camera down, so at least there might be some... Ooh. No, that didn't work. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Okay, never mind. The webcam unfortunately doesn't go down low enough to show the kitty cat. Alright, anyway. So, clobber that guy. Clobber this guy, who is currently planning to do a negative effect of some kind, though it doesn't usually go into an enormous amount of detail. Spit web. So, that's weakened. That's going to reduce our attack damage. But I don't think it's... Oh, actually, no, it is going to matter. Because it'll mean that what our basic attacks aren't enough to take out that filthy, filthy louse. See my arm moving? It's... Me. Give me old kitty cat. A stroke. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, he didn't roll up. Interesting. Oh. So there you go. This is kind of like, this is the loop of the game. So you kill stuff, and then you make loud, loud meowing noises over and over again. <laughs> oh boy. Well, an excellent reminder to not keep my cat in my room while I'm streaming because he's exceptionally noisy. Alright, basic guy, he's gonna buff himself. So I'm just gonna whack him a whole bunch because there's no reason for me to block at this point because he's not gonna be doing any damage, he's just gonna buff. I don't. I believe if it's if part of the spell involves damaging you, then it will say. So he's going to hit for 6 damage, which isn't very much. So I'm going to go all in on just clobbering him as much as possible. So he's got that vulnerable. So he's going to take more damage. And hopefully, I can bash through him pretty darn quickly. Nine, so he's got a small enough number that I can murder him without him hitting me back. Okay, uh, let's give this guy a try. So, plus two damage for all of your cards containing strikes. So, I think that's a fair amount of them, but I'm guessing we're going to need to have a fairly attack focused deck to really make the most of that. These guys are pretty neat, it's a fungus controlling a dead rat. And also he's got a friend who's got a, spike, a spike slime, who's M? Male? Medium? I'm going to go with medium, I'm not sure it would really make that much difference. Uh, okay, so there you go, perfected strike. Uh, it does quite a lot of damage at once, so let's give that a try. We didn't end up with any block cards this time round, so it will be time to take a butt of Third of Pain. And also we've got a Wound card, which will be a card that won't do anything for us, but will merely clog up our hands. But, either way around it. Let's kill off that guy. 
haven't really got anything else to play. Our deck's not got that many options at this point in the game. So he's on a status effect, so that means our defensive cards will be less effective. Which kind of sucks. So yeah, there's our wound card. Very reminiscent of the Penny Arcade guys. Um, uh, what was it? Briarwood? Thornwatch. Thornwatch had a similar kind of mechanic. But anyway. Uh, so this guy is just going to be doing sort of status effects. So we'll just whack him a couple of times. And shrug it off, which you probably should have played the other way around. Because if it draws a card, it's better to play earlier. Because then you get to see more options in case they might be more relevant. I'm pretty confident at this point that my deck is not got any particularly compelling options in it. Uh, he's going to hit for 8. So if I do... That would be... I don't think that's going to be quite enough. Oh man. Our defensive card's going to suck. So we get another wound. I think that's a... Uh, I don't think the wounds stay in our deck beyond the given round, but I could be wrong. Let's find out. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, Rampage is pretty neat. Ooh. I have to remember to turn the sound off for that. Okay, so yeah, our deck is slowly starting to get a little bit better. Uh, where do we go next? Uh, I think Bonfire. So we can rest. This is the point at which we can get back some hit points. We're doing okay for that. And Smith lets us permanently upgrade the cards. It's worth noting that these cards, the upgrade usually adds about 4 damage or some sort of better effect onto them. Uh, I th you can kind of check what they're going to be. So there you go. So it's just it does it's the same thing but more. I think this one it becomes significantly better. I don't think the upgrades are at all equal with each other. So well, sorry, just to start this running again. So defend will just get you know a little bit more. Strike will get a little bit more. Whereas for rampage, because it's something that gets better each time it's played, this makes it twice better, twice as much better each time it's played. So, I'd say that's probably a more worthwhile. Let's see. So that's, again, that's probably going to be like, maybe, maybe four or five extra damage. And that's quite a lot better. So four more resistance and two more damage to each person. This is a really good spell if you're up against multiple opponents who are going to be attacking you. Especially if they're going to attack you multiple times. So some of the attacks kind of, they're split up into say, you know, one, two, three, four. And each time they attack, they'll get that six damage. So that's pretty good. But we're not running into that as of yet. So I think Rampage will be easily the best of those to upgrade. It's a mystery what we're going to get next. Among the stone and boulders... You notice that intricate large blue statue resembling a wing. Okay, cool. So there's these little RPG elements in the game. Which are kind of neat. Nothing particularly crazy. But worthwhile. So we can remove a card from our deck. So we probably want to start getting rid of some of our... If we get rid of some more of our defend cards... And hopefully we can pick up another substitute defend card at some point, like a better one, just because I don't want to take out the strikes, because they are pretty good. Oh, also they they make our regular stuff better. So ass is slime. It's gonna do us a bunch of damage, but we should be able to soak a lot of that. So that's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Don't know what his special ability is. So I guess we'll find out. Let's attack for a while. 
So we can spend a lot of this turn just defending and kind of mitigate. Corrosive spit. Ugh. And uh, he's doing something something weird. So Rampage gets better each time it's played. So in an ideal world we were playing it as often as possible and also we would have probably figured out that we needed to do our bash beforehand in order to increase the damage from that one. Let's see how it goes. Oh, hello. It's turned into two little ones. So you can see, at this point, Rampage is pretty amazing. And this little slime bro has reproduced, I guess? Fortunately for us, it will not pose a serious threat to our eagle-headed adventurer. Uh, okay, so this is a nice combo. If we headbutt, we're able to put a card from a discard pile on top of a draw pile, which is really good in combination with our other card that gets better each time it's played. Ooh, excellent. We found a s small upgrade, which is just going to make a couple of cards straight better. So rather than having to upgrade them through the use of other cards, you can also upgrade. Hmm. As you make your way down a long corridor, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. No. Upon closer inspection, they are tied to strings coming from holes in the ceiling. There is a quiet cackling from above as you approach the objects. What do you do? So I don't really need the healing. The max HP up is kind of nice. Uh, a relic is pretty good, but it does come with a curse as well. Um... I think I'm going to try the max HP up. Let's see how that one goes. You eat the donut. It really hits the spot. Your max HP increases. Not that we're actually anywhere near our max HP, but at some point we might be. A gremlin is madly shuffling cards on a table. This monster seems to be a harmless one. You approach him out of curiosity. Twelve cards. Match them to keep them. Five tries now, do overs. Are you ready? Let's start. Oh, wow, it actually does play as this. Okay. Dark Embrace. Thunderclap. Dark Embrace, Thunderclap, Rise, and Bash. Oops. There we go. Uh, oh, well. Interesting. That's a neat idea. Let's head back to our merchant front. Hmm. So Fear No Pain is very, very powerful in combination with some other cards that exhaust. We don't have any of them at the moment. Dual wield on sales, pretty reasonable. We have just made it a little too expensive to get the card removal service, which, which is a little sad. Uh, Hmm. I don't know. I 
I'm not sure that's particularly good, unless you've got some hyper powerful block cards. Uh, so, I have a feeling we're going to get a use out of this later on, so I'll grab this now. Even though it won't really do anything in the immediate. And we'll head on to our next enemy. We're heading up towards the boss up here. So it's something to be said for choosing a harder route because it will get you more rewards, but it will also make it more less likely you'll get there in the first place. So we've got some pretty heavy attacks coming in. So we're going to be able to shrug off about half of that, but we get to make two copies of Rampage, which is a pretty nice investment. This guy is particularly annoying because every time he attacks, he'll take 15 gold, and if we don't kill him, we will not get that gold back. Well, we're going to take a lot of damage here. Going to stick the rampage back on top of our decks. I'm going to so I'm going to take a lot of damage here to, in an attempt to kill off this. A thief before he runs. There we go. Whew. Cycle our deck around again. Just keep on wailing away. Won't even need to recycle particularly much there. We gotta go back and we get a new card. This, I really like this, the Reaper, uh, when you're against multiple enemies, can just can heal you for about 12, which is very, very good. Uh, these ones are it's kind of okay, and I don't think we necessarily want to double down on the whole perfected strike thing. I mean, I guess that's the kind of idea that's probably better the more you have of it. But at the same time, so we're kind of battered. So I think maybe we'll try and avoid the elite monster for the time being and just face up against some weedier monsters. So we're going to get hit by hit for 12. So that will give us 12 and completely block it. And we'll bang through our first... What was it called again? Uh, rampage. Alright, same sort of thing again. So let's block most of it. But I want to just block all of it and wait for our better attacks to turn up. Because none of those are really worth taking damage in order to play. It's always an opportunity cost with pretty much everything in the game that you've got. Oh, hello. Here we go. Okay, let's get back our Rampage back to the top of our deck, which is a pretty powerful combo effect. I'm definitely someone who comes from a kind of playing quite a lot of these kind of deck building games. So a lot of the kind of, there's a lot of ideas which I think you don't even need to necessarily know that much to take advantage of, just kind of. A smaller deck is generally a better deck as long as what you've got to play in that deck is worth playing. Uh, oh no, these cards all kind of suck. This does let us tunnel all of our attacks into semi blocks, so given that we were a little low on blocks already, I guess we'll go for that. Let's jump to the bonfire. Oh. Uh, I think I'll take the heal at this point, just to go into the boss with full health. Oh boy, Hexaghost. I don't know what that's about, so I'm just going to clobber him for as much as possible. Oh god. I really wish we had our flame thing now. Cuz 
because we are about to get absolutely murdered. All right. Well, I guess that's just <laughs> what's gonna happen. Ay ay ay. So this will at least, actually, that will block nearly all of it. Let's do that. Um, actually, let's play the rage, which will empower our headbutt. Put a rampage back on our deck, and that will be a stun for that one. Doink doink. Okay, this isn't so bad. So we can double up on our Rampage. Shrug it off. And then... So we're kind of like building up and up with our Rampage cards to be pretty ludicrous eventually. I'm waiting for him to come back around with a some sort of block... Okay, block buff. So we've got no reason to not just wail on him at this point. <laughs> Apart from the fact we don't actually have the combo of cards, so... Much like any good old... deck building game, there's always a... upside and a downside to nearly anything you can do. Uh, we don't really have a lot going on there, so I guess we'll just heal ourselves. So that reaping spell. Ugh. Hmm. Our deck's not... I don't know, honestly. We're getting a little battered here and can't really afford to have that happen again. I'm going to take 8, so I can defend quite a lot of that. We can play our Rampage again. Oh man, that was a pretty lousy turn. Oh man, once you start drawing those burns, it's gonna suck. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so this is a great one to use the flame barrier against. Assuming that I don't just die. I guess we'll find out. I think it might just be dead. Oh, I'm not dead. But I will get burned three times. Which is uh, wonderful. I think that will go through block. We'll find out, I guess, because are we most likely dead? Oh no, it, it doesn't, okay. Oh boy. I think I might be able to just win though. Shazam and Kaplow! Doesn't get too much closer than that. Oh, I see. No room for that one. Alright. So, what do I got going on? So this one will give me energy for each whenever I'm below 50. It'll give me 30 block. I imagine that might be useful later on. But at the moment, I think that would just be completely over the top. Fiendfire will roast my hand. And we'll do a crap ton of damage. I think Berserk seems better though. Something good. Hmm. 
Hmm. Extra life. Draw a button of cards. I think this is probably worthwhile. It lets us change out three of our cards for three much better cards. <laughs> Alright, well that will be it for the time being. Hopefully this is mildly educational. Who knows? But that will be it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.